at right here. Focus versus Razor Moon. Focus, of course, known far and wide in the Warcraft community, has always been one of the top orcs out there. A little bit in the shadow of Lin, of course, over the years, but he is widely known as the second best orc in the world. That is a very powerful opponent for Razor Moon. Razor Moon, also fairly well known in the scene, a really decent player from uh, the Americas, living in, uh, in New York, I think. Was it Rara Land as well? Great knowledge of the game, strong player, but of course, on paper, he seems to be a little outmatched, perhaps, against Focus. I looked up their stats, they never played in tournament games before. Today will be the first. Oh, well, focus thinking about. No, not thinking about the pull. Wait, where's the grunt? Am I crazy? There's no grunt. What? Focus skipping the grunt, going for the shadow priest instead. Ooh, almost looking, almost getting the last hit here, but. Couldn't quite. Late Master's on the way, ready for the harass. No grunt in this early game. Isn't that interesting? Late Master gonna show up, take out the first wisp quickly. If the Ancient of War goes down, that is a big disaster. That means no more creeping. And Ancient of War does fall. Demon is chasing after the Shadow Priest. That should be a manageable kill, but... Ancient of War indeed is gone. He's an experience, though. Very importantly, he got the Rock Golem, that one he needed to get very badly. And now he needs to deal with the Blade Master in the main base. Good juggling so far. I was a bit worried that I was muted, but... Thank goodness I'm not! So now it's gonna be time for the grunts, I guess. Was this harass worth it, is the question. Focus has almost no experience, no items, didn't creep anything, grunts are late. But of course the Ancient of War is destroyed, so creeping now is also very difficult for Razor Moon. Oh, the Berserker here is going to be a very important pickup. <sighs> Archer. Almost going down. Berserker has to be saved. Razor Moon cannot... Build any units right now, because he has no Ancient of War, so this Burzy is insanely important. And he's gonna save it. Big Master gets first blood on the Archer. Bit more experience there. But he needs to work on these items. Thank you, Zedlostroy, with the resub. I think this position isn't too bad for Razor Moon, right? Demon now level 2. He can creep the smaller camps without Ancient of War. Maybe even this one. Now Focus taking a big camp himself, also going for the Merc. Classic Orc play. Pull the Merc camp during night time, hire the Burzy. Kill the big boy. Items, very unfortunate. Those might be the two worst items you could have found. Well, the Demoner is slowly progressing towards level 3. Raider Walker for focus. He's anticipating Dryads and Bears. We've been seeing tons of Bears lately. Oh, but Razor Moon, look at that. He's going for an expansion on the way to tier 2. That means no bears, only pure dryads. And against that, walkers are rather weak. Position here seems solid for Razor Moon. With the speed scroll, gonna find one more kill, but it's only the Shadow Priest. The Berserker is still alive, importantly. Oh, is he gonna get the boots? Oh. <laughs> Hiding with a cloak here, that's kinda neat. And a staff away. No boots of speed. But 
almost level 3. This little green camp here will be enough. Folk is going to open up his own natural. This could be a two base, two base game. Here on our first map. Plus plus eight, there we go. Finally a good item for this blade. Demon Hunter's items are rather weak, to be honest. Only the slippers are good. Mana burn perhaps a little bit late. The next hex is going to be dangerous. And snare ready soon. The man wants to scout for the expo. Sort of. Oh, he's going to have to TP now. And I'm. I guess he did see the expo. Sort of. With Ultra Vision? Yeah, with Ultra Vision, I guess he saw it. Okay. So he knows there's no expo. We have the expansion on the Night Elf side, but no units yet. Razor Moon definitely needs a bunch more units. Dryads, that is. And the Dryads are coming. Armor upgrade as well. When you play mass Dryads, upgrades are very, very important. Another great item for the Blade Master here. Keeping the TP this whole time, by the way. Focus now. Expanding. No nature's blessing here, so the tree of life still seems a bit vulnerable. Took him a while to get into position. Now we got the good items on the Demon Hunter. There we go. Demon Hunter wants to tank up heavily. And now he has, with the ring, with the periapt. These are very, very good items indeed. But no TP anymore, so that's still a bit of a concern. Fruit of Accuracy found here. Not the best item right now. And indeed, it's sold. Shadana getting a bit of solo experience here. Almost level 3, but I don't think it's enough, is it? Uh, not quite. Blade scouting the main base. Sees no tier 3. A player's forces are under attack. But he doesn't yet know about the expo, I think. Entangled about to be done. Shadow in a bit of an awkward spot here. No level 3 yet. Razor Moon creeping passively. Oh, Quathala's boots. Damn, look at this Demon Hunter. Plus 9 Angie. Plus 225 HP. Plus 6.7 armor. This is amazing Demon Hunter items. But he doesn't have an invuln or a TP, so that's a little bit crazy. I mean, scary. <laughs> Why did I say crazy? Scary, I mean. Ride's about to be on 0-2, then I assume attack upgrades will follow. In both expansions, we're simply allowed. The timing is almost equal on the expansions. Peons sliding over. Got the red camp creep here. Oh, walker. 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 Ooh. Almost lost the walker to the creeps. That wouldn't have been good. What's the item? Big item. Spell shield. Oh, that's sick for the shadow. That means he can block mana burn. But maybe you can... I guess you can proc it with dryads though, right? A player's are under attack. I'm gonna try to keep an eye on it. If you can proc it with dryads, then I guess... It's pretty bad. Unless you can position well in the back. If you can position well in the back, might still be good. We'll see. Alright, first push by Focus. 59 supply for him. He still has the TP from the other game, by the way. Never sold it. So he could TP to the expo, which is being attacked by Razor Moon at the same time. Of 
Of course, the orc army here has much more building damage with the grunts, with the raiders. There is even pillage, so more gold trickling in. Keeper staffing in. He's carrying the TP. He must protect the main base. He knows. And TP home, TP out. Good exchange for focus. Took out a bunch of moon wells. Got the pillage gold. And not even too many of his peons died. Three peons, I guess. That's okay. He's remaking them. So Amner gets triggered by Dryad to spell? I think so. Normally, all the point and click cast triggers the amulet if you do it manually. So, like fairy fire and slow and curse. Normally, they all trigger it if you manually cast it. On auto cast, it doesn't work. All right, Razor Moon looking for the fight. He's got vision advantage here with ultra vision. And in we go. First mana burn blocked by the amulet. All right, that's 100 mana saved right away. Pretty good. It's a lot of damage from the Berserkers here as well. The piercing against the Dryads, really strong. This time the mana burn goes through. Demon Hunter in trouble, by the way. Here, heal potion, invul potion, surviving with that. But the Dryads are being slaughtered one by one. Ensnare finds them again and again, and that's a bunch of kills. We have the level 2 Thorns are now as well, returning some of the damage. But folks is clearly getting way more kills here. Threatening the demon with the crit. Oh, might be the kill here. Trying to staff him out, and he can last second. The Hex perhaps a little bit too late. But that means the Keeper here is left to his own devices. Oh, and he does not stand for long. Oh, with the potion actually survives a bit more, but... Not for long. And now it's only the Demon Hunter left. He is quite tanky indeed, but he cannot face an entire Orc army. And that is focus getting the W. There's an AP here, which is kind of neat, but... Well, this was the big story. And this was an absolute slaughter. Razor Moon... Trying to hold on still. At least he took out the economy here, but peons can just simply be rebuilt. Focus still with the big army. Strong heroes. Level 5 Blade Master here. He's got some good items. But not that many, so he's still not insanely strong. Well, I think... I think the Orb of Darkness works against Dryads, right? Because it's an orb item. And not a spell from, like, from the Dark Range. So if he would find Orb of Darkness here, I think it would work against Dryads. If I remember right. Shadow Hunter also gonna get level 5 here. What's the big item? Cadgas Gem. Okay. That is less exciting, but a good item. And now level 3 Heal Wave. Inborn forced early on the Demon Hunter. Oh, look at that Heal Wave. Level 3 Heal Wave, baby. One mana burn, blocked once again, thanks to the amulet. Dryad dispel range is kind of small, so it's not that easy for the Dryads to get in range for the Shadow Hunter to proc the amulet. Oi, big crit! 264, one more perhaps? No, this is the end. 15 minutes 30. S Focus locks it in, takes the first map as the favorite. And he looked confident in doing so. Razor Moon with a decent start. It seemed like he was able to hold off against the early aggression from Focus pretty well. Focus there, seeing the Shadow Priest harassing the first creep, taking out the Ancient of War. But there was still an experienced lead on the Demon Hunter for quite a while. 
But once the big fight rolled around, it seemed kind of one-sided. Focus here looking about as solid as we expected him to. And map number two is coming up right after. Uh, hold on. Yep, there we go. Hammerfall for our second map. Focus wins here. He's through into the upper bracket final. PCG is waiting there already. Are we going to see a return of the keeper here now? I still maintain that this is a great map for Keeper. Good experience from the first camp. Good expo, easy to creep with Ancient of War and Treants. A good map all around for Keeper Hunt's expansion. This is one of the few maps where we still seem to see Keeper a lot of. Although yesterday also, here we saw a Demon Hunter instead. All right, demon again. That means no hunts, no expo, but either dryads or bears. I guess it could be mass dryad expo, just like we saw earlier. The moon favorite. I think at Rawaland it was Focus who said uh, that he likes playing against Night Elf because he likes playing Blade Master. Of course, against human, orcs have to play Farseer. In Orc Mirror also sometimes we see Farseer, but it's mostly Blade these days. Against Undead, I'm not quite sure where the meta is right now, to be honest. If 1-0 to zero should face Focus in this tournament, we might get a glimpse as to what the top player meta is like. Oh, and we get a glimpse at the mirror images here. Hoggies, oh, I'm a big fan of mirror image. With this, the Blade Master can creep here in the middle easily, not needing shop heal selves for quite a while. But he still has a shop, so maybe. Player's forces are under attack. Not that big of a difference maker. And it's the one grunt into Headhunter build. Hells yeah. Blade Master Mirror Image into Headhunters. Potentially lots of damage against Dryads. This time we have Immolation. More damage from the Demon Hunter. This helps a lot also for creeping. Items are decent. I think nowadays with a demon you love to have double ring. With double ring, he becomes so tanky, it's crazy. He's got one already. We have the expansion again, by the way. This one is quite a bit earlier than the one before, though, I think. Oh, look at that. Focus with really ambitious creeping. But it's going to be scouted. Razor Moon sees what's up. There's no way. No, Focus. Are you still going to creep this? 
Mirror Image is doing a great job scouting here. Sees the Tree of Life as well. And Focus must realize this is a very early Tree of Life. This is kind of dangerous. Pendant of Energy. Rather weak item, I think. Demon already on level 3. And we got the Sentry Ward here. Razor Moon. This looks like a great position, right? Tree of Life. Gonna start entangling really soon already. Focus seems to find himself in a difficult spot. Boots on the Demon as well. Really nice items here now. Slippers help quite a bit as well. And again. Gonna find the mirror image here. Should realize what's going on with the creeps. Panda second for Razor Moon. Okay, no keeper. Blade here with the parry app. Decent item for him, I guess. But not the best blade items, all things considered. Oh, Blade trying to steal the item. Almost getting surrounded here. Shadowhunter coming in. Hasn't picked the skill point yet. Razor Moon is kind of dominating so far. Forcing the speed scroll away. Peon cannot expand yet. And Dryads are soon to join. Triple Lore? Whoa! Triple Lore, baby! Alright, let's go! M -m -m Mass Dryads it will be. Oh, Mana Potion used for the Mana Burn, and now the Shadowhunter is getting drained. This team on level 3 is looking so strong. One Headhunter. Died here as well. The power of level 3 Demon Hunter. Razor Moon in an outstanding position here. We got Double Beast Jury. Mass Raiders. Still dangerous. Ringelnet. With the two-year reserve. Thank you. Alright, Razor Moon. If he's got two or three minutes, he should be able to build a huge Dryad army. Triple lore. Great macro by Razor Moon here. Big item for the blade. Big heal potion. That's a good one. Focus is not counter expanding yet. Archer left behind, scouting for it. That's nice. But Dryas here could be easy kills now. When the armies are this small, with one end snare after the next, the Dryads could be in serious trouble. What are the Raiders doing? They're just running around. Mana burn again. Shadowhunter very hurt. Shadowhunter might be dead. Oh, Demon Hunter chasing. Oh! Shadow goes down! Razor Moon! Ooh. Almost losing the pad, huh? <laughs> Triple heal potion, lol. I think we're gonna go to a third map. Panda with the ring, pretty tanky. Maybe not enough scouting by Focus this game. The Tree of Life came up so early that perhaps Focus should have, lost, should have looked for a cancel. Level 4 Blade Master forcing him to the heal potion here. There is so many Dryads on the way, dude. Endless Dryads. 
Hex on the demon. Needs a crit. Needs a double crit to get this kill, but can't get it. Oh, there's one heal wave. It ain't enough, though. It ain't enough. Fog has lost a ton here. Team Hunter staffing home. The Moonjo situation is looking a bit rough right now. But Razor Moon got so many kills. Focus's counter expo is almost up. Dryads don't do much damage. If the poison doesn't work. It has a heal potion. Gonna have to use it soon, probably. The amount of here is doing so much damage. Blade, low HP. Needs to be careful. There is double staff on the Knight of Side, by the way. Demon is starting to run a bit out of mana. The panda, nicely saved. And now there's no moon juice. I think Razor Moon made one big mistake here, not using a moonstone earlier. Could have done so at the shop. No way. No way, dude. I mean, Focus also has double Raider production, so he can rebuild quickly as well. More ensnares. Oh, it's gonna be a TP force. If there's Hex! <gasps> oh, should've Hexed, shouldn't he? Could've Hexed right here. Could've perhaps been the hero kill. I spoke too soon, chat. I spoke too soon. The game, I guess, not over yet. Razorman was... Mining from the expo so much earlier, it seemed like he had it. But focus with tenacious play. Staying in it, not giving up. And now the expo seems secure. Shadow close to 3, blade level 4.4. Same as the demon. But here's go involved. Go to the Night Elf. Hit scroll and TP for focus though. Looking for the panda kill with mass and snares. That is possible. If there's a snare, that means no staff and he gets the kill. And this seems to be the momentum now fully swinging the other way. Dima Hunter in trouble as well. There's no TP on him. No TP available and the crit and a few more right clicks will do it how was that crit only 132 by the way what a joke of a crit 105 what are these crits man razor moon got really close here really close but was not quite enough in the end i wonder if a keeper might not have been working out better with entangle to look for kills the panda didn't look that good here in my opinion good game by razor moon Got into a great position, 